Now, if there's one name in the gimbal industry that can make every other manufacturer fear their space, that's Zhiyun, often pronounced Zhiyun. And the new Crane M3 shows exactly what they are capable of. So that entire sequence that you just watched was shot on the Zhiyun M3. It was shot on the GH5S, so there is zero in-body stabilization. It was also shot with a Liowa 7.5 millimeter F2 lens, the Sigma 30 millimeter F1.4 and the 56 millimeter 1.4. On a micro four thirds, it's basically 60 millimeter F1.4 and 112 millimeter F1.4. Yeah, on a gimbal with no in-body or lens stabilization. Now, for those of you that are going to say, yes, but there's slow motion and slow motion doesn't give you a true reflection of gimbals. Very true. Uh, but I do have some 24p footage tests that I'm going to show you just now, as well as I want you to understand that a lot of videos that you create with gimbals and cinematic sequences and the people that buy gimbals use slow motion. So I'm going to give you the best of both worlds over here, showing you some slow-mo clips as well as giving you a true 24p straight up walking test and you guys can see for yourself at different focal lengths how good the Crane M3 actually is. So in this review I'm going to answer a few questions that I have received, namely build quality, size and camera compatibility, smoothness, who's it for and should you buy it? Before I get into those, I'm going to run through some obvious, maybe not so obvious, important pointers that you're probably asking about the Crane M3. It weighs 730 grams. There's no release on its max weight capacity as it's more about ergonomics and balancing. It has an eight hour battery life and charges up in two hours via USB-C and you can charge it and use it at the same time. It has a touch screen which is 1.2 something inches, which is one of the largest touch screens that you're gonna find on a gimbal, which is quite fantastic at this price point and the size. It has a quick release plate, which is custom to your camera when you order it. You can lock all three axes. It's got a joystick to control the camera. The front control wheel also allows you to control the roll axis or aperture, shutter, ISO. There's a little pressable wheel on the side to control the built-in 800 lumen light. And this light can also be adjusted to a white or yellow Kelvin with the control wheel. This is pretty cool. The light also has little magnetic filters so you can swap them out for different colors. It comes with the relevant cables and you can connect your camera to it and control it from the gimbal, which for me lately has been a lifesaver. It has the normal pan, pan follow, POV, the go, the vortex, and portrait for those portrait video craze people. And although I'm not much of a portrait fan, unfortunately it's starting to take quite a toll and there's a reason that you would need to film portrait rather than just crop your landscape video into portrait. It does come in three different packages, standard, combo, and pro. So the bag does come with the two higher end packages and the bag is absolutely phenomenal. The build quality on the bag is amazing and if Zhiyun actually made bags, I'd probably buy one. Now the build quality on the Crane M3 is absolutely amazing. Crane M3 has this really hard, rugged, white plastic. It has this kind of modern day PS5 kind of feel. Everything is moved to this 
super white look. And I think whether you're on a paid job from a client or you just, you know, bringing it out your bag in a travel vlog and even an Instagram selfie with this thing, it just looks so cool. And the bonus is the Crane M3 light that lights up when you switch it on on the side. You can see June was so proud to put this on there. And it's the little details like that that make you just wanna grab that product. So size and camera compatibility. It's no secret that this is probably the smallest gimbal that you can buy that can hold a normal camera. When I say normal camera, I'm referring to full frame mirrorless kind of cameras, the everyday camera that every YouTuber and content creator out there has. In actual fact, it's smaller than the new Zhiyun Smooth 5 which is a mobile gimbal. It's insanely tiny. It has all the right functions that a bigger gimbal would have. Let me just show you this next to a Zhiyun Weeble S. This thing is insanely tiny. It's not a lot bigger than a Nanlite Pavo tube. The fact that they're starting to cram this much tech into something so small is extremely beneficial and I'm gonna explain why just now. So what can it really hold? Well, it's not just about weight capacity, as I said. It's due to ergonomics, the length of the arms, and finding a perfect balancing point. And this is why a lot of gimbal manufacturers have moved away from it can hold up to two kilos. If you have something that's two kilos, but really oblong, a gimbal based on the movements of the arms and your roll and pan axis won't just hold it. Now, I personally use the GH5, GH5S, the Liowell lens, the Sigma 16mm, 30mm, 56mm, as well as the 12 to 35mm 2.8 Panasonic lens. And that entire combo is completely covered as per Zhiyun. Now you can find more on the Zhiyun app about what cameras and lenses they are compatible with. Now when I mentioned that it's great that manufacturers are starting to make things so tiny, this is quite important when it comes to rigging something out. And yes, I did rig the Crane M3 out, and a lot of you are gonna say, well, that's kind of defeating the object of keeping something really, really small. Now, I do agree to a point, however, just hear me out. Personally, single-handed gimbals for me aren't really that great. It's due to the fact that the way your hand moves and you just don't have that kind of bicycle movement steering, handlebar, you just get smoother shots using something that's dual-handed. But with the Crane M3, you can rig it out. And because the Crane M3 itself is so small, when you add to the rig, your total weight and size is much smaller than if you had to rig out, say for instance, a Weeble S or a Crane 3. Basically what I'm saying is, you'd rather walk around with a loaded Crane M3 that's capable than a loaded Ronin S. Now the whole control of dual-handled and single-handed leads me to the next point, smoothness. Obviously, if a gimbal cannot be smooth, it's pointless buying it. But the Crane M3 is fantastic. I decided to put it to the test and with no post stabilization and show you a few different real world scenarios that you may find yourself in and kind of give the Crane M3 a challenge. Here we have the GH5S, which has no in-body stabilization with a 12 to 35 millimeter lens with stabilization turned off. The lens is zoomed out at 12 millimeters with the gimbal lock on. Here we have the exact same, but the lens is at 35 millimeters with stabilization still off and the gimbal lock on. It does seem that the gimbal veers a little bit to the one side, maybe to the right. However, this is quite common with a lot of gimbals that I find when they're in lock mode, they do veer off. I don't know if it's user error, or whatever it is, but gimbals tend to kind of over a long distance veer off to one side or the other. It's not major, it's just somewhat noticeable when you zoomed in a lot. Now, for those of you that aren't micro four thirds minded, just remember that the 12 millimeter that we did is 24 millimeter full frame equivalent, and the 35 millimeter is actually 70 millimeter full frame equivalent. Here we have the same setup again at 12 millimeters, but with the lens IS on. And this is the 35 millimeter zoom, so technically 70 millimeters full frame with the lens eyes on. And, and just to prove a point, this is a more quick real world scenario with the GH5S, no in-body stabilization. The lens IS is on at 12 millimeters, 24 millimeter full frame equivalent, and pan follow mode on the gimbal trying to keep it in the dead band. Basically that test kind of just shows you if you are on a job and you don't have time to put it onto lock mode and it's just a quick thing that you saw and you just had to kind of walk straight, that's kind of the effect that you'd get. 
Now I do wanna make it clear that gimbals are very dependent on how well you balance them. If you take an extra minute setting up your gimbal, you will get far better shots. Now here is some real world footage from the shoot that we did. These are the shots that you saw in the beginning from the little edit that we made. Keep in mind a lot of these shots were rushed as we needed to get from location to location, changing outfits, chasing the lights. One thing I can tell you is that like with most gimbals, the Crane M3 does not like the screen flipped out to the side. You're better off looking at it straight on or using a monitor. Also, these were all just taken with the Crane M3, as is no external accessories or handles to make my life a little easier, as I should have. So who's it for? If I had to be honest, if you're a wedding videographer, content creator, events videographer, and you don't really like gimbals, because they're just too big, they're too cumbersome, and just using them becomes a pain, and you usually use handheld footage, this is for you. This gimbal is honestly so tiny that it literally fits into a bag, no problem. Also, if you're a travel photographer or videographer and you like making little videos wherever you go, and you also generally just kind of go handheld because gimbals are far too big and you do have a small setup, this is the gimbal. So should you buy it? I'm not gonna come here and tell you to buy something that you probably don't need. However, what I am going to do is, if you are like me and you do own a Weeble S and you do travel a bit and you kind of go away and you try and make little family videos or vacation videos and carrying gimbals with you, you've started leaving them at home when you go away just and you rather just do it handled and you sacrifice those nice smooth shots, it's probably a good idea to add Crane M3 into your travel kit and just keep it there for when you do go away or when you need a minimalistic setup. Maybe you're just going on a plane, you're doing a quick job and you're probably not gonna take a gimbal. This is the gimbal to throw in the bag. Honestly, the Crane M3 changes what a lot of people thought about gimbals being so massive and so large and so cumbersome and just they've become a very, very negative topic that people don't wanna use gimbals. But the Crane M3, just the look of it makes me wanna use it. Now, if you've made it this far, Here's some bonus pointers for you. It comes with the cell phone mount in the bag in case you wanna use it as a mobile gimbal. And it does come with the tripod in all three packages and it's a very high quality, typical Zhiyun product. In the pro version, it comes with an extra mount at the bottom that you can connect Zhiyun's first ever mic for interviews or anything that you wanna use it for. And apparently the sound on the mic is fantastic. I'll drop a link in the description to the Zhiyun M3 if you do wanna pick it up or just check it out and see more details on it. But that's it from me. I hope this helped you out. And if it did, please leave the video a like, hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow the channel because there's gonna be plenty more cool content coming your way from filmmaking to photography, videography, obviously sneakers, and just so much more. That's it from me, wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.